Middle schools in Florida will now teach students that some black people benefited from slavery because it taught them skills. Thousands of educators have protested the controversial new standards to the state's African American history curriculum by the Florida Department of Education. It means that students will be taught claims that the various duties and trades performed by enslaved people allowed them to develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. Now Florida's governor, Republican Ron DeSantis, has defended the standard, which he says were developed by scholars without his involvement. I think what they're doing is I think that they're probably going to show some of the folks that eventually parlayed, you know, being a blacksmith into, into doing things later, later in life. But U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris has slammed the new curriculum changes. They insult us in an attempt to gaslight us, and we will not have it. How is it that anyone could suggest that in the midst of these atrocities, that there was any benefit to being subjected to this level of dehumanization. Yes, I am disappointed to realize black Americans, black Republicans are falling for this trap. When you look at just the one line that slaves learned trade that benefited them. We heard uh, Byron Donald, so he was critical of that particular piece. Uh, this little dust up between the campaign and Byron Donald. Is that helpful, though? So, um, at the end of the day, you got to choose. Are you going to side with Kamala Harris uh, in liberal media outlets? Or are you going to side with the state of Florida? And I think it's very clear that these guys did a good job on those standards. It wasn't anything that uh, was politically uh, motivated. Uh, these are serious scholars. You've seen Dr. Allen out on, on TV talking about the stories, talking about his own family history and everything like that. So don't side with Kamala on that. They are falling for it. And Democrats have taken them unaware. I don't know if they actually understand what is going on. It is a trap. Kamala Harris stood up, you know, vibrating, partaking to this. It has reached a certain level. I don't know if these people actually realize that. It is a fact we all know the learned trade and it benefited them. We can't deny this. I think I was even attacked, you know, on my comment section when I did the video partaking to this. A lady came, addressed a long message. I think I will read out this so you can see exactly what she sent to me. Why should Republicans be going after a daughter, bending the knee to Democrats? They are excited when they see that this is happening. Claire Galt joins us live in the newsroom. And Claire, is Congressman Donald in favor of the new standards? Nicole, the simple answer is yes. He thinks that Florida's new standards will do an overall good job at teaching black history. But he, along with many critics, thinks one section could use an adjustment. He's among the more prominent African-American Republicans in the nation. And he's got a problem with part of Florida's new African-American history curriculum. Congressman Byron Donalds told me over Zoom. Obviously, slavery was terrible in our country. Uh, it was terrible for, for, for black people coming to America. And it was just flat out wrong, no doubt about that. Also wrong, according to Donalds, the critics who are lining up to use the curriculum to score political points. The vice president came to Florida to blast the section that says, quote, how slaves developed skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. Donalds told me, yes, that section needs some adjustments. The, the talking point narrative around it, yeah, it, it sounds awful. Like nobody should be accepting of that, of that, of that. Uh, but when you read through the standards, they actually did a very good job in covering all aspects of black history in the United States. Donald's called the new African-American history standards good, robust, accurate. Just that the messaging of that one section is wrong and can be fixed. I think the best way to accomplish it at this point is working with the State Board of Education to bring refinement to that topic. And even if the section stays in the standards, Donald's told me he has faith. No one will leave the classroom thinking slavery was in any way beneficial. I have no doubt about that. Uh, because at the end of the day, if you with what is in there now, it's crystal clear to me that slavery was uh, one of the one of the darkest stains on on our country. No doubt, there's no way to get around that. I was recently attacked after I did the video 
partaking to what is going on in Florida. I don't know if people actually understand my stand partaking to this. Dear Omoge, I'm writing to you today to express my deep anger and sadness and sadness at your recent comment about slavery. You have no idea what my ancestors went through and you should be ashamed of yourself for trying to minimize their suffering. My great grandmother was tied to a tree and we, because they tried, tried to help a runaway slave. My grandmother gave birth to my mother in a cotton field and were forced back to work immediately afterward. Black people have been seen as a second class citizen throughout American history, even after slavery was abolished. As an African-American woman, I am filled with sadness and anger when I think about the pain and suffering that my ancestors endure. The injustice that they face is unforgivable. But I know that I cannot change the past. What I can do is learn from it, learn from it, and fight for justice for all black people and people of color. I urge you to do the same, educate yourself about the history of slavery in America and the continuing legacy of racism. Then use your voice to speak out against injustice and equality. Together we can make a difference sincerely. A black African American female. This is a lady sending this to me. I should educate myself into this. I understand how she is feeling. I always say this in all terms. I fear the consequences of that. I'm a victim of this. You are a victim of this. But I really don't always like to carry what happened 80 years ago, 100 years ago into my brain. It will keep taking me backward and I will see myself hating on people for reasons like this. So I've been thinking about this whole, this whole uh, Florida education standards thing. And, um, you know, if you were assaulted as a minor repeatedly for years and years and years, and then you claim that your sexual assault made you a better lover, it would mortify people. That's why it's mortifying to hear people say that you benefit from slavery in any way because learned things from trauma is not a flex. It just ain't. You know, a funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. And I think that that's but, one of the lessons that we learned. Aren't. America, then brought here and sold off like chattel, separated from their children. Don't believe it. So the president has made it very clear. We cannot pick or choose our history. We can't.